welcome back to another Block Studio 3 educational course. In this course, we're going over what is an NFT. We already covered what Web3 and blockchain technology is, so we're going to step now into the realm of NFTs and how they work. So NFT stands for non-fungible token, and basically it's a digital token created, and it's normally associated with some sort of image or some type of art piece. You may have seen many of these kind of things on the news, whether it's uh, Board Ape Yacht Club, those pictures of monkeys that are selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars, all the way to some, you know, art pieces that may have been done by an artist that you like. Now, many people might just say, isn't uh, NFT just a JPEG? And yes, at face value, NFTs may seem like just JPEGs or pictures, but it's much more than that. You can think of an NFT like a book. The JPEG and the image that you see is just the book cover. The more important, inf the more important information actually lies within the NFT or with lies within the book itself. So the information and the token and the technology within the NFT is actually the more important part that gives the NFT much more use cases uh, from things like exclusive access, discounts, uh, behind the scenes stuff, rewards. Uh, you can do anything from like token gating, which basically verifies if someone owns an NFT and gives them access to something. So yes, the photo or the JPEG that you see uh, is what you see the NFT the NFT has, but it is much more than that uh, behind the scenes. Uh, remember the last course when we talked about blockchain technology, we can verify who owns these NFTs and we'll take a little bit deeper dive into how that works. So again, this is just an example, right? Uh, the JPEG or the NFT is what we see up front, uh, but behind the scenes, this is where the NFT can give you access to maybe exclusive groups or parties. They can give you discounts on merchandise or even the ability to earn other rewards. So again, the JPEG is what you see. The underlying utility is and use case of that NFT is much more. Other people might say, but I can just copy the JPEG and create my own NFT, which is also true. You can copy the image itself, but you cannot copy the technology in the NFT underneath the actual image. Uh, many people don't understand that NFTs and they just make the argument that you can copy, right click and save uh, the photo. But remember the blockchain has a record of who created the NFT and the past transactions of where it came from. So we take a look at this example on the right hand side here. We have NFT A and NFT B. They are the same image as you can see here. But if we go back through the blockchain history, we can see NFT A was created by Block Studio 3. NFT B, if we go back on the blockchain and look at the history, we can see that it is created by some unknown user. Now, the example of this is that exclusive access is granted to the people that hold the NFT created by Block Studio 3. We're not checking if the NFT has a certain image or something. We're checking if someone owns the token created by a certain someone. So again, we're not looking at this image. This image doesn't give you access to something. This image isn't the important information. The information of the token on the blockchain and dating back to who created that token, that's the important information that we need in order to verify and authenticate the holder of that NFT. So even though they have the same image, this NFT here is where the value is because again, we're verifying that they hold the NFT that was created by Block Studio 3. And that's why you can't just copy and paste an image and make an NFT of it because again, the more important information is what lies within the token itself. So in conclusion, NFTs have the power to give something to a holder by verifying who has possession of that token. And again, we're verifying the creator of the token, not necessarily the image that you see. This is again, a simplified version of what NFTs can do, uh, but understanding the verification and authentication of how NFTs work, this is gonna give us the creative use of the technology and we'll definitely be seeing how people use and get creative with it in the years to come. We're still early and it's not too late to learn, nor 
is it too early to learn this new technology? Because you can start learning this and you can start implementing it as soon as possible, whether it's for your brand or business or something that you want to start. Don't be afraid to learn about Web3 and NFTs. This is the future. This is technology that will be coming and everyone will be using it. So right now is the best time to start.